Much like we did in March and February, we're following the same sequence. We got three supersets here, 10 reps per move. We're working for 20 minutes, getting as many reps as we can. We're gonna start with our side to side push up. So that's lateral movement to help work through the pec, stabilize the shoulder, keep that core strong. So you start out in your plank position. You wanna step that hand up, big push up back to the middle and to the other side. Okay. Going out wide, five per side, 10 total. If you need to take it down to an option, take it to your knees, keep that core nice and strong. Make sure the hips are in front of the knees, your butt's not back up in the air, but you're forward, strong as you go through that. Give me 10 on those, then we're gonna go right into a plank walk up. So you're in that plank position, walk down to your forearms, back to your hand, switch, lead with the other arm, all right? A lot of shoulders, triceps, chest in this sequence. If you need to take it to the mat, you can with those knees as an option. Give me 10 of those. All right, our second set is gonna target our backside. We're doing piston row, so you're gonna want two dumbbells here. Come up into a plank or push up position. Keep the core nice and strong. Pull the elbow to the sky, lower down, under control. Piston rows, side to side. If you need an option, just like on the side to side push-ups, take it to your knees. From there, we're going into a plank back slide. This one can be challenging. I recommend that you support yourself, only have one weight, a little wider through those feet, and fly through the back, shoulder if you need to as an option again do it from your knees 10 per side another option is to do that from a standing position hinge at your waist let the weights hang below you and row one side at a time keeping the elbows back pulling it high and if you need an option for the back fly do it from a standing position as well. All right, our last superset is really gonna focus on some shoulder mobility. This type of stuff will also help just make those shoulders and upper back pop. So when you're wearing that tank top this summer, looking good. So little light weights, maybe even just uh, no weights even on this. You'll start with those elbows at 90 degrees, strong through your core. We go out to 90, press forward, pull, and watch out for that bar and down. Lateral raise together, pull back to 90. That's one rep. We'll go through 10 of these forward and back through. As I said, if you wanna do that without any weight, just keep the arms at 90 to start or elbows at 90 to start, raise up, pull back, working through this pattern to really work on that shoulder mobility, training, toning those small muscles. From there, we'll go to our scarecrow. On your scarecrow, Again, you can go with a little bit of light weight. You're gonna hinge at the waist slightly here. Elbows start at 90, hinge at the waist. Pull it out like you're making a W. Extend out and back in. Good. Not a lot of weight needed here. It's a challenging movement. So, you always have that option. No weight. Pull it out, extend, back, in. Out, extend, and back. All right, 10 of those, start it back over, work for 20 minutes. You got it. 